Jessica Simpson shared new photos to promote her Jessica Simpson Fall 2023 collection. The 43-year-old performer looked ready to lasso a horse as she slipped back into a pair of blue jean Daisy Duke cut-off shorts that she paired with a matching vest. Time equals 400 ms. greater than the designer also had on very high black short boots. The star wore the same type of shorts beautifully in the 2005 film Dukes of Hazard. In another shot Simpson was also seen modeling a denim button-down shirt that exposed her black lace bra. The employee of the month actress also had on silver and turquoise jewelry and her long blonde hair was worn in soft beach waves over her shoulders. Country Charm Jessica Simpson shared new photos to promote her Jessica Simpson Fall 2023 collection. Time equals 400 ms. greater than country cool. The 43-year-old performer looked ready to lasso a horse as she slipped back into a pair of blue jean Daisy Duke cut-off shorts that she paired with a matching vest. The designer also had on very high black short boot Jessica married former NFL player Eric Johnson in 2014. The couple has three children, daughter, Maxwell, 11, son Ace, 9, and daughter Birdie, 4. The former reality star admitted in 2019 that she lost 100 pounds nearly six months after giving birth to her third daughter, Birdie. She followed a meal plan and walked 14,000 steps per day with help from celebrity trainer Harley. Pasternak, and has since shared updates from the gym as she's maintained the weight loss through the years, six months. 100 pounds down, yes, I tipped the scales at 240, she wrote on Instagram when revealing her weight loss. My first trip away from hashtag B-I-R-D-I-E-M-A-E -E and emotional for many reasons, but so proud to feel like myself again. Even when it felt impossible, I chose to work harder. Harley told E! News at the time. It had to be more than just getting back from her baby weight, but how do I keep whatever I am doing now forever? That's why we are not a big fan of doing any extreme diet or radical forms of exercise. Pin up. The actress pictured above in the 2005 movie The Dukes of Hazard and later revealed in her memoir, Open Book, that the iconic outfit created a gold standard for her body family. Jessica married former NFL player Eric Johnson on July 5, 2014, and the couple has three. Children Simpson told Hoda Kotb during an appearance on The Today Show in 2021 that she never weighs herself anymore, doesn't own a scale and follows her intuition with how she feels when picking out her clothes. I have no idea how much I weigh, she said. Like, I just want to feel good. And be able to zip my pants up. If I don't, I have another size. I have every size. In September 2022 Simpson said she is happy to make money off the chatter surrounding her fluctuating weight. The star acknowledges that her weight has been the subject of speculation for years, and it was actually one of the reasons she decided to launch her own fashion line, the Jessica Simpson Collection. Weight Loss Journey Jessica has been open about her weight with fans, pictured left in 2006, and right in 2012 when she was pregnant with her first child, the singer, told Extra. I decided, okay, everybody is going to talk about my weight all the time, I might as well make money off of it and turn it into a business of selling clothes and acceptance. By contrast, in 2021, Jessica admitted to being hurt by the scrutiny she's faced. The blonde beauty felt there was an intense focus on her looks and her weight when she was younger. She explained, there is a wonderful movement for body positivity now and the response to that portion of my story has been overwhelmingly supportive. The debate about her weight caused Jessica to agonize about her looks. Time equals 400 ms. greater than however, she has since learned how to love her body. Jessica, who made her film debut as Daisy Duke in The Dukes of Hazard" in 2005 said, I spent so many years beating myself up for an unrealistic body standard that made me feel like a failure all of the time. I am still a work in progress when it comes to self-criticism but now I have the tools to quiet those voices in my head when they speak up. I believe in my heart that a healthy body and a sound mind-body connection are what's truly important and help me accept imperfections as beauty.